Hello children. We will start your syllabus with the first chapter of chemistry that is matter in our surroundings. Regarding this chapter, the first topic which we have to discuss is matter. What is matter? Anything, any substance which occupies space and have a mass, have a certain or fixed mass is known as matter. Anything which has a fixed space, which occupy a fixed space, that means which has a fixed volume and has a certain or has a fixed mass is known as matter. So, but as a coevi substance, this is a fixed volume, which is a fixed space occupy, and this is a fixed mass, which is what we call matter. So, as a coevi cheese. इसका एक फिक्स मास तो जो स्पेस ऑक्यूपाई कर रहा है उसको मैटर कहते हैं बच्चे एयर है वाटर है हमारी बॉडी है एनिमल बॉडी है एक पॉलीथीन है एक पॉली बैग है एक जूट बैग है एक टी-शर्ट है एक हैंडकर्चीफ है ऑल दोस हैव अ फिक्स्ड वॉल्यूम एंड दे ऑक्यूपाई अ सर्टेन मास दे हैव अ सर्टेन मास दैट मींस दे ऑल इंक्लूडेड इन मैटर वेयर एज द फीलिंग्स हेट और लव द सैडनेस ऑल दोस आर थिंग्स आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन in matter, the vision, the hearing, all those are not matter. Bachi. Smell, that is a sense, is also not included in matter. But smell of a particular substance is included in matter. That we'll discuss later on. So this is the certain or common example of few things about the matter. Next topic which we'll discuss is conditions required or for something to be matter. What are the necessary conditions for something to be a matter? To which substance we call a matter? How can substance ko matter? Keh sakte? Do conditions hai, bache. There are two conditions required. The first is it has a certain or fixed mass and it must occupy a certain space. So these are the two conditions which are must be required for any substance to be included in matter. So these are the two conditions required for something to be matter. Next, composition of matter. Ancient methodology. Ancient classification suggests that matter is made up of five things. And those five things is water, that is jal in Hindi, fire, agni, ag, earth, that is land or soil. Next, wind or air. Hava. So the five basic constituents, basic tattva, which are referred as the panch tattva. Water, fire, earth, air, and fifth one is sky. So the fifth one matter is sky. That means akash. So these are the five constituents of matter by which any matter is formed, of which any matter is composed of. But nowadays, the modern classification is on the basis of two differentiation. One is physical classification, another one is chemical classification. Physically means on the basis of its outer structure, on the basis of its physical properties like shape, size, all those are referred as physical properties. 
फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज में क्या आता है शेप हो गई साइज हो गया मास हो गया दीज आर फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज मीन्स द केमिकल नेचर द केमिकल कंपोनेंट्स द केमिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट ऑफ विच इट इज मेड अप ऑफ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फिजिकल कंपोजिशन मैटर इज डिवाइडेड टू एयर लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड यू कैन से गैस एयर दट इज सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस और गैस लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड दीज आर द थ्री physical differentiation form of matter these forms will discuss in detail in this chapter chemical composition will or chemical differentiation of matter will study in the next chapter and that is involves pure substance and mixtures pure substance are further divided into metals non metals and metalloids <coughs> and the mixtures are also further divided into true solutions suspensions colloids and various forms of compounds are also included in that so these will study in the next chapter is matter around the salt pure and this physical differentiation of matter will study in this chapter now we will discuss the characteristics of particles of matter every matter as i discussed earlier is made up of particles which because every matter has a certain has a fixed mass so that means it is composed of particles those particles or those particles of matter has certain characteristics it is a very important question also the first characteristic is the particles of matter is very very small the particles of matter are thin or you can also write that matter is made up of very thin or very small particles that is one of the same thing second the particles of matter keep on moving continuously the first is the matter is made up of very very small particles next second one is the particles of matter keep on kept on moving continuously yes there is a force of attraction exist between the particles of matter that means a matter is made up of particles and those particles of matter whatsoever that matter is whatsoever the form of that matter is is having a force of attraction jin bhi particles se ban kar ek mil kar ek matter bana hai bachcho un particles ke beech mein ek force of attraction hoga those particles of matter have a force of attraction between them and the fourth one is there is a there is an interparticle space inter means between beech mein in ke beech mein particles ke beech mein so there is an interparticle space between the particles of or you can simply write there is an interparticle space between the matter so between the particles of matter you can write it pretty simply also that there is a space present between the particles of the matter so bachcho there are four characteristics of the particles of matter the first one is the particles of matter are very very small the matter ke particles are bahut chote hain the particles of matter attracts each other jo matter ke particles hai wo ek dusre ko attract karte hain पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर कीप ऑन मूविंग कंटिन्यूसली वो लगातार मूवमेंट में है वो लगातार चल रहे हैं लगातार मोशन में है द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर हैज अ इंटर पार्टिकल स्पेस इन बिटवीन दम जो बैड पार्टिकल्स हैं मैटर के जिन पार्टिकल्स से मिलकर मैटर बना है उनके बीच में एक इंटर पार्टिकल स्पेस होता है नाउ वी विल डिस्कस सम एक्टिविटीज विच explains the properties of matter 
the first property is matter is made up of thin particles matter is made up of very small particles for this you require a beaker take a beaker which in that beaker place some potassium permanganate crystals potassium permanganate crystals potassium permanganate crystals are of purple color these are of purple color then fill this beaker 3 by 4 with water what we will observe that after some time the half of the beaker turns purple half of the beaker turns purple in color half of the water of the beaker turns purple and after that after few more time Whole of the beaker turn purple. Here, the beaker partially turns into purple color, and here, the complete water in the beaker turns purple. If we represent this experiment in the form of molecules, what it shows: these are the smaller particles of potassium permanganate here, which are very closely packed. and these larger size are the particles of water these are the water particles which when water came in contact with potassium permanganate the potassium permanganate particles will starts to move and will wants to take the space in between the water after some sometimes when half of the water turns purple that means these fine particles spread in between the water particles you know these are round shape of large structures of water molecules water particles and those small dots are potassium permanganate that means the potassium permanganate is very tiny and that tiny particles will start to move upwards where their concentration is less where their amount is less so these are very tiny so these that matter is made up of very tiny particles and slowly and steadily when those tiny particles from here from the bottom will tends to reach at the top of the beaker then whole water appears to us as a purple color liquid so you can see here bachche here the potassium permanganate particles are present at the bottom here there goes at or till the half of the beaker and here the potassium permanganate particles these ones will reach at the top and the whole water turns purple so this activity tells us that the particles of matter are very small the particles of matter are keep on moving continue we will discuss the second activity that shows the particles of matter keep on moving continuously the particles of which a matter is made up of are keep on moving continuously lagatar motion mein hai for this activity what we have to do is we have to take two gas jars the one gas jar is filled with air this is air but and air has no color obviously it is covered with a lid we'll take another gas jar which has a brown color gas in it and that gas is known as bromine gas now what we do is we'll keep the gas jar containing air over the bromine gas jar 
हम क्या करेंगे इसके बाद जो गैस जार जिसमें ब्रोमीन है उसके ऊपर एयर वाला जार रखते हैं ठीक है तो ये जो बच्चे हैं अब इसके बीच में लिड है ढक्कन लिड को खींच लेंगे बीच में से दोनों पैसे ऊपर रखा और लिड खींच ली आफ्टर सम टाइम वट वी विल ऑब्जर्व दैट द होल ऑफ द जार द होल ऑफ द कॉलम टर्न ब्राउन इन कलर पूरे का पूरा कॉलम क्या हो गया ब्राउन कलर का जबकि ब्राउन कलर किसका था ब्रोमीन गैस का एयर का कोई कलर नहीं होता द रूम इन विच यूर सेटिंग हैज एयर इन इट बट वी आर नॉट सींग एनी कलर ऑफ एयर यू आर सींग द कलर ऑफ द वॉल एयर जिस आप जिस रूम में है उस रूम में एयर है लेकिन उस एयर का कोई कलर नहीं है तो बच्चे फिर यहां पर क्या हुआ ऐसा क्या हुआ कि ऊपर का जार जिसमें पहले एयर थी वो भी ब्राउन हो गया क्या हुआ बच्चे मूवमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल्स हुआ है ऊपर से एयर के पार्टिकल्स जो ज्यादा थे पहले वो धीरे धीरे मूव करके नीचे आ गए और नीचे जो ब्रोमीन गैस के पार्टिकल्स थे वो मूव करके ऊपर की ओर चले गए सोचे जो ब्रोमीन गैस है दैट विल मूव इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड द एयर विल मूव इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड दिस मूवमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम देयर हायर कंसेंट्रेशन फ्रॉम देयर हायर अमाउंट टू लोअर कंसेंट्रेशन और लोअर अमाउंट इज नोन एज डिफ्यूजन a very important definition a very important topic for your class 9th and for your class 10th science that is diffusion what is the diffusion the movement of particles from their higher concentration to their lower concentration is known as diffusion the movement of particles from their higher concentration to their lower concentration is known as diffusion the other examples of diffusion in your daily life are very common to you bachche first the smell of incense stick Incense sticks mean agarbatti. The smell of that incense stick spread in the whole house because of diffusion. The incense stick which we lit, which we burn in the corner of the room, will spread its fragrance in the whole room, in the whole house. In fact, that is because of the diffusion of the particles of incense stick. The particles of incense stick diffuse through air from one place to whole of the room. the smell of hot food comes in another room from the kitchen the smell of even hot food hot uh, food comes outside the house as well sometimes so that is because of diffusion the movement of particles from their higher concentration to their lower concentration when we spray certain deodorants or perfumes on our body or our clothes then those fragrances are also spread here and there when we go to a garden which has flowers the smell of flowers is spread all over the garden and that process is known as diffusion the movement of particles from their higher concentration to their lower concentration is known as diffusion another activity which describes the motion of particle the continuous motion of particles is brownian motion This activity, this experiment was conducted by Robert Brown in 1827. That's why on his name, this motion is referred as Brownian motion. What he does is he take a petri dish. Petri dish is a very small glass container which is a very small boundary. छोटी सी पतली सी boundary होती है कटोरी की जैसी बस. उसमें water भरा. He take water in it and sprinkle some pollen grains over it. उसने क्या किया उसने कुछ पॉलन ग्रेन स्प्रिंकल करती है पॉलन ग्रेन आर द मेल कैंडिट्स दैट आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम फ्लास 
in your eighth class in reproduction chapter you must have studied about the pollen grains pollen grains are very lightweight particles then he observed that slide that petri dish in a, over a microscope he observed that the pollen grain particle let us suppose this pollen grain particles motion is represented here ye ek pollen grain ki motion dikha raha hai main yahan bachche this particle will move in a random direction it goes first here then it goes here then it goes there then there then here then here then comes here then comes here then comes here so this random motion that zigzag motion is known as a brownian motion the zigzag motion of the particles of a matter is known as brownian motion now robert brown explained this phenomena one of his phenomena was explained bhi kiya what he says is he says that water is present below the pollen grain particles suppose my hand these are the water layer and over that this chalk is pollen grain he says that water particles keep on moving continuously and if the water particles keep on moving continuously then the particles present above it also have exerted a force over them also keep on moving continuously so due to that continuous motion the particles move from here and there the particles that is the pollen grain which are placed over the water keep on moving continuously here and there kya explanation di unhone bache jo water ke particles hai wo lagatar motion mein hai ab motion mein hai to lagatar ek dusre se takra rahe hain khud ke sath takrane ke sath sath water ke particles pollen grain ke sath bhi takra rahe hain pollen grains ko bhi push kar rahe hain and due to that push due to that force the pollen grain particles moves in a zigzag manner and that motion is known as brownian motion next activity we will discuss about the third property that the particles of matter have a inter particle space in between them jo particles hain bachche matter ke uske beech mein ek inter particle space hai for this activity we require a glass A transparent glass is preferred. You must all have a transparent glass at your houses. Put some sugar crystals at the bottom. Make a mark with a marker and fill that glass with water till that mark position. Let us suppose I mark position A here. I fill the water till here. After some time, I observe that whole of these sugar crystals are disappear. Whole of the sugar crystals are not there. सारे के सारे sugar crystals खत्म disappear हो जाएंगे. But the volume of water does not rises. But ये जो mark है बच्चे पानी का level इस mark से ऊपर नहीं उठेगा. Then where did sugar crystal goes? तो sugar crystal गए कहाँ? We usually say sugar crystals dissolves in it. हम जनरली क्या कहते हैं कि शुगर के क्रिस्टल्स उसमें डिजोल्व हो गए उसमें घुल गए घुलने का मीनिंग क्या है वॉट डू यू मीन बाय दैट डिजोल्यूशन द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट डिजोल्यूशन इज द शुगर इज मेड अप ऑफ वेरी टिनी पार्टिकल्स द वॉटर पार्टिकल एंड द शुगर पार्टिकल्स हैव स्पेस इन बिटवीन दम एंड द शुगर पार्टिकल टेक दो स्पेसिस तो अगर हम बच्चे इस एक्सप्लेनेशन को मलिकुलर फॉर्म में दिखाएं ये ग्लास है ये शुगर के पार्टिकल्स हैं और ये वाटर के पार्टिकल्स हैं आफ्टर सम टाइम हुआ क्या व्हाट हैपेंस बच्चे द स्पेस ये जो स्पेस बीच में है That space is occupied by sugar particles. So this activity proves 
that particles of matter have a space in between them. This activity also proves that the particles of matter are very, very small. This activity also proves that particles of matter are keep on moving continuously. So these are the activities which represent these three properties. Now we'll discuss the fourth property that there is an inter-particle force of attraction exist between the particles of matter. Now we'll discuss the fourth property कि जो पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर है उनके बीच में एक इंटर पार्टिकल फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन होता है स्पेस तो होता ही होता है साथ में उन पार्टिकल्स के बीच में एक अट्रैक्टिव फोर्स भी है एक अट्रैक्शन का फोर्स है देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ फोर्सेस एग्जिस्ट बिटवीन द पार्टिकल्स वन इज कोहेजन फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द सेम पार्टिकल कैसे ये ग्रीन बोर्ड आपके सामने है बच्चे इस ग्रीन बोर्ड में क्या बच्चे कुछ पार्टिकल्स हैं सॉलिड के कुछ ग्रीन कलर के पार्टिकल्स हैं नगर ये वो पार्टिकल्स आपस में जुड़े इसलिए तुम देखो ध्यान से तो ये सारा बोर्ड एक साथ जुड़ा हुआ है सो द सेम काइंड ऑफ पार्टिकल आर अट्रैक्टेड बाई अ फोर्स एंड दैट इज नो एज कोहेजन उसे क्या बोलते हैं कोहेजन द सेकेंड फोर्स इज एडहेशन The second force is adhesion. Force of attraction between different kind of particles. दो अलग अलग टुकड़ों को जोड़ने के लिए हम क्या करते हैं एडहेसिव लगाते हैं दो डिफरेंट पार्ट्स को जोड़ने के लिए दो डिफरेंट पार्टिकल्स को जोड़ने के लिए जो फोर्स है दैट फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज नोन एज एडहेसिव फोर्स द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द सेम पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर इज नोन एज कोहेजिव फोर्सेस एंड द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द डिफरेंट पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर इज नोन एज एडहेसिव फोर्सेस सो द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर हैव द फोर्स ऑफ कोहेजन इन बिटवीन द कैसे प्रूव करेंगे It is not easy to break an iron nail. एक iron nail जो solid है उसके particles को iron nail को तोड़ना इतना आसान नहीं है. For that we require a large force. Why? Because the particles of iron in that iron nail are closely packed. They have a strong force of attraction. Whereas a jelly candy can be broken down easily. A chocolate can be broken down into easy into two parts very easily. So what's it? बोथ आर सॉलिड्स बट अ चॉकलेट कैन बी ब्रोकन आई टू टू पीसेस वेरी इजली अ स्मॉल किड इवन कैन ब्रेक द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ चॉकलेट वेरी इजली बाय बिकॉज द कोहेजिव फोर्स इज बिटवीन द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ चॉकलेट इज वेरी स्मॉल जो फोर्स है कोहेजन का चॉकलेट के पार्टिकल्स के बीच में वो बहुत कम है जबकि जो कोहेजन का फोर्स है आयरन के पार्टिकल्स के बीच में वो बहुत ज्यादा है so, Due to that, the cohesive forces it will represented that there is a force of attraction exists between the particles of matter.